Okay, so another quick sidebar. We're just going to talk uh, briefly about the sources and uses of gasoline because this is uh, pertains to organic chemistry and it's culturally significant, right? So what we do when we make gasoline is we, we get crude oil, right, petroleum. We separate it by distillation. So it turns out that we have lots of components in crude oil. And if we distill it, then the, the um, certain components that have one carbon or four carbons, they come out below 20 degrees Celsius, which is below room temperature. So even cold, right, you're going to get, if you mix this stuff up right, you're going to get natural gas petrochemicals and plastics, okay, C1 to C4 uh, at cold temperatures. And then after that's done, then you warm it up a little bit. Room temperature is just about 20 degrees, a little over 20 degrees, 21, 22 degrees. And then you're going to, when you're distilling this, 21 to 100 degrees Celsius, you're going to get things with five carbons in them or seven carbons in them, five to seven. And those are mostly solvents, like stuff that you buy um, at, the, at, at Lowe's to dissolve stuff, okay? So uh, above that, then, you're going to get C5 to C12, which is gasoline, all right? And then if you warm it up even more, heat it up even more, you can distill out kerosene and jet fuel, which is bigger molecules, kerosene and jet fuel, believe it or not. And then, believe it or not, uh, diesel is even hotter, right? So you can, you can really um, heat up diesel pretty well without it combusting. So, and that's C12 or higher, heating oil and diesel. And then there's things that are just have so many carbons in them that they're simply not going to evaporate. And those uh, are used to make lubricating oil, grease, wax, asphalt, and tar. Now it turns out that the gasoline fraction that we get out of crude oil only makes up about 19%. And we use a lot more than that. So we have a process called cracking. With cracking, you can take a longer chain molecule and with really high pressures, right? The pressure in the room you're sitting in is about one atmosphere. So at pressures of 200 atmospheres and 450 degrees, right, you can, and, and if you expose it to hydrogen, right, then you can break these carbon-carbon bonds. You can make smaller molecules. And uh, with, the, with cracking and with uh, reforming uh, by, by making branched alkanes from straights, you can get uh, a better yield of gasoline, closer to 50%.